I'm Carson filling in for Phineas, who is often filling in for me, because I am back from my long vacation in Colombia. News today, head of Egyptian army declares his allegiance to uh, anti-Mubarak protesters. And he is... Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> Married congressman from New York, Republican, resigns after alleged flirtatious emails. Osama bin Laden's cook is in U.S. custody, and his, and his sentence has been reduced to two years. Rebels in southern Sudan attack the army, shattering a ceasefire. Sixteen people are dead. And finally, French judges instigate anti-Sarkozy strike in France. Isn't that right, Lance? Yeah, not so much. That'll be it for this week's news section. Thank you. Go. Hello, and welcome to Leaf's Corner. This week I'm going to be talking about a little accident that happened to me on Tuesday morning. I was just getting up, and I was walking downstairs, and I was very groggy, because I was... I take a little while to wait, wake up in the morning. Anyways, I was downstairs and I got my toast and I had this nice big piece of toast about this big covered in a nice thin spread of strawberry jam. And I was walking outside and I was right next to my car and I was opening up my car and I fumbled with my toast and it fell and it got on my coat and I got big splotches of brown gross toast jam all over my coat and it got on my sleeve and it got on this sleeve and it got even on the back of the coat. Now can that even happen? I had one piece of toast. And anyways, the toast fell on the snow and it got kind of wet and I ate it anyways because it was strawberry jam. And of course I'm going to eat toast with strawberry jam because strawberry jam's delicious. But it got all over my coat and my coat still has these nice little batches of brown jam on it. Don't drop your toast. Hello, this week on Waldorf Weekly, we're going to be making shepherd's pie. First is to peel potatoes. You peel two potatoes for each person you're going to be serving. Next, you quarter them. Next, we're going to put them in boiling water until they're soft. While the potatoes are boiling, we're going to be sauteing our meat. Here we use ground turkey, although some use ground beef. Once the meat is cooked, we drain it and place it in the bottom of our 9x13 pan. Next, we layer the corn over the meat. Next, we drain the potatoes, add 3 tablespoons of butter, and add some milk. Then we mash. Once it's mashed, we spread it into the 9x13 pan. Finally, we're going to sprinkle cheese over the top. Now we're going to put it in the oven on 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. Ta-da! Look at all that good melty cheese. Welcome to Tyler's Art Gallery. We've got a broad range of any painting you could ever wish for. Such great artists as Sierra Marina, Evelyn Lee, and the mysterious Blotch. Nobody knows who he is. His paintings are gorgeous. These are all done by incredibly, incredibly talented artist folks. And remember, at Tyler's, it's always, always, always cheap. Welcome to this week's sports section. The Super Bowl happened this weekend, and the Packers won, even though they were plagued by injuries. In local news, in their latest race, uh, American League ski teams, the girls placed third, and the guys placed fifth. Hello, and welcome to Interviews with Brian. My guest today is Sierra. In a past life, Sierra was a spy for the Russian military. Now, I'm going to ask you four questions. Please answer them in a calm and creative way, and don't treat it like a big deal. Let's get started. Who is your favorite ancient Greek philosopher? I didn't really like him very much in any of them. You don't like any ancient Greek? What's wrong like with Plato? I love Plato. Plato is my friend. I am offended. I'm but sorry. moving on, how many wigs do you have in your house? Four. 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 Only four? Yes, only That's four. pitiful. I have over 300 wigs in my possession. But we're gonna go five. Can you daydream at night? I think so. so I have uh, yeah. And anyway, why do they call me Brian? It's a cool name. That's 
that is guilty as charged. That has been another exciting round of interviews with Brian. Thank you, Sierra. Hi there. The word of the week this week is a boin. It's a verb, and it means to beat an experienced player at a game of skill by playing so appallingly that none of his clever tactics or strategies are of any use to him. Again, a boin. A B O Y N E. How do you feel about nuclear energy? I uh, I don't agree with that. Hi there. On the useless facts section this week, there will be four facts. One. It takes 4,000 crocuses to make one ounce of saffron. 2. Japan is made up of 6,852 independent islands. 3. Before all per porcelain teeth were perfected in the mid-19th century, dentures were most often made by extracting teeth from dead soldiers after a battle. During the U.S. Civil War, teeth were extracted from cadavers and shipped by the barrel to dentists in England. And the last useless fact today is the joke's on you. Hello, what can I get you today? Well, I have the soup special. Right away. <coughs> Here you go. Are your thumbs in my soup? Huh. Thank you for your concern, man, but it's not hot. There's flies in the soup. Oh, really? Is that a problem? You asked for noodle, not vegetarian. There's four <laughs> flies in my soup. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm going to have to charge you for noodle meat soup, and um, that'll be an extra 25 cents. What are these flies doing in my soup? It appears that they're doing the backstroke. Thank you. That'll be a lot of extra money. I'm not paying for these flies. Where's that waiter? <laughs> this wraps up another episode of the Waldorf Weekly. Please, if you have a YouTube account, click on comment, rate, and subscribe, and come back for next week's video. See you next week, folks.